I'm Robin. Today we're going to look at the value of providing opportunity for our children and teaching responsibility. The two are often closely linked. Number one, providing opportunity for our children. This means taking advantage of events or situations that come along and allow our children to grow and learn and it often inspires and motivates them. In young children, almost everything is an opportunity. Play and creativity begin the process. Mr. Rogers says play is often talked about as if it were a relief from serious learning. But for children, play is serious learning. Play is really the work of childhood. Opportunity isn't always a formal class or lessons, it's a way of thinking. If I saw something cool that was happening, I would try to take advantage of it so our children could see the value. Our children volunteered at soup kitchens, worked in an overseas orphanage, helped mark trails at a wildlife refuge, volunteered at the library, or picked up trash along the highway. I think the greatest opportunity that I'm most proud of is reading to our children. That has developed them into lifelong readers. Number two, responsibility. Responsibility can begin in young children by helping them pick up their toys or helping set the table. And as they get older, they can do unsupervised chores. I taught each of my children to clean and to do their own laundry, but of course, it takes a lot more time to teach them. But you have to see the value in that. Remember, kids react differently to responsibility. Some it will push to achieve more. Others are more reluctant, so help them to gain confidence and proceed accordingly. I know we have a lot of responsibilities, and we can't be available 24 hours a day to help our children, but being intentional with our time can reap great benefits. According to effective neuroscientist Yak Pengsip, nine minutes that are most important in our kids' days are the first three minutes after they wake up, the three minutes after they come home from school or daycare, and the last three minutes before they go to bed. If we can focus on positive emotions, cuddling, praying, feeling connected, it can largely impact our children's emotional health. It seems you just get one child figured out and then the next one comes along and they're completely different. But remember the goal is to climb into their world, to take advantage of their strengths and weaknesses and to help each of them to feel valued and special. Sometimes we really feel like we're off course, like we need a course correction. Did you know that an airplane is off course 90% of the time? Because of weather and turbulence, they're off track. And I think the same thing happens in our household. Because of weather and turbulence, we're off track. So, we're constantly going back and forth, reassessing our priorities and changing accordingly. You're doing a great job. Don't get discouraged. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.